Right, let's talk about local business schema. If you've got a local business, then you can add a type of structured data to your website, a little bit of code that's going to help Google pull out more information about your business in search results and improve your ranking and click-through rates overall. And the beauty of modern tools is you don't need to be a coding expert to create this code and add it to your website. If you've got a WordPress or a Wix or a Squarespace or anything like that, you can easily create this code and add it to your website. I've even seen results from this within even 24 hours, a couple of days, start to see impressions spike for a website and clicks increase because it's just a little trick that any competitors that aren't doing SEO or haven't done these little technical bits to their website, it's going to give you an immediate advantage over them. And in this video, I'm going to go through exactly what local business schema is, why it's going to help your website and how you can use my template plus chat GPT to implement it directly on your own website. Just quickly, this is a new channel. So if you get any value from this video, please hit the subscribe, like and comment underneath with who you are and where you are on your SEO journey. So what is local business schema? Well, it's a type of structured data that provides a standardized way for you to convey and deliver information to search engines. It's kind of like handing search engines a business card with all your information on it. So it's completely clear what you do, who you are, where you run your business from, and all sorts of other information. So this might include phone numbers, address, website links, social media profiles, even more in-depth into different branches of your organization, different services that you offer, opening times, everything you can imagine. And this means that when users search for your business on normal Google search and Google Maps, that Google can display your information more prominently to users. So it's incredibly important that if you've got a local business that you have this code, particularly on the homepage of your website, or if you've got multiple locations, on those different location pages for your different areas of your business. Right, let's get stuck into how you can create this code and how you can add it to your website. So on my screen here, you've got my local business schema markup generator prompt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna fill in this information. We're gonna take that, we're gonna ask ChatGPT to then write the code for us, which we can then put on our website. And we're gonna validate it in the process to make sure it all works smoothly so you know it's working 100%. And I've shared a copy of this template in the show notes below. Just copy this prompt, fill in your answers to the questions and ask ChatGPT to generate a schema based on your responses. Um, and as you can see, it's just, a template, a list of questions or information that we're going to need to provide for ChatGPT. It's not quite good enough to simply go and ask ChatGPT to write it itself without this extra information because it's going to miss sections. It's going to create different outputs each time. And this way we know we're getting the most in-depth schema markup we can create for your business that's going to beat competitors. So essentially, you need to go through this and fill in this information. I'm going to go through now, fill this in for an example company I have and show you on to the next step of how then ChatGPT is going to generate it and how we can validate the information. Right then, here we go. I've gone through and filled all this out. There's a few things to note on here. There's, um, if you're struggling to find your Google Maps URL, which is a nice locator, you can go and find your business on, on Google Maps. Um, do, 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 where were we? Cornwall, so here we go. Cornwall Solar Company. If you click into your Google Maps, you can actually click the share button, which is going to give you your map link for sharing, which is a great thing to add in there. Um, you'll also be able to, if you click right on the map area as well, if you right click on there, it's going to give you your longitude and latitude um, geo coordinates, which you can add in there as well. Just another signal to Google about your exact location. Um, all the other stuff on here, you know, phone numbers, addresses, opening hours, make sure they're all accurate. You need to put your business logo in there, which should be just the same as on the homepage of your website. You should just be able to easily right click on your logo of your website and click co copy image address um, and add that in. Same with the main image of your website. So it's important to remember if you ever delete those images or update your branding or phone numbers or anything like this, you'll need to go and update this code as well. If you have multiple services, then go and fill in this service area and put your different services, the different pages that they refer to as well, again, to give Google a better understanding of the hierarchy and the different things you're offering. So otherwise, other than that, it's pretty simple to use. Then we're going to go over to ChatGPT. Fairly simple. We're going to take this from prompt here. We're going to just copy all of this that we've written and down to here. You can see, just leave, ignore the notes, pop that in there and let it start writing the code if you go back to this for a minute while it writes you can see the notes here leave any field blank fields blank that don't apply to your business because some stuff won't apply make sure to provide all the information as accurately as possible um, and then we'll get on to the bits about where to put that code in a minute but here we can see that it's created the code for us um, you can see all that information you'll have just input 
you know, what service you are, the name of your business, the description of your business. Um, the more information you've put in there, the more it's going to be able to include. It's got phone numbers, a price range, a postal address. Everything we've just put in there has built it into this code, basically, even our review rating and count and all that sort of stuff. So that's great. So we can now test this code to make sure it works. So if you copy this code and we want to go to something called schema markup validator here, and this is validator.schema.org. And if we take this code that we've written and put it in the, the code snippet area here, just simply post your code and paste your code in there and boom, it's going to bring up the validation of the code. Basically, we can see how it this is the code we wrote and what it's going to look on the back end of your website. This is the validation side on the right. And we can see all the information. It's local business schema as we wanted. Um, the name of the business, all the images, the URLs, the homepage, all the descriptions, everything we've just put in has been validated. Now, if this code was wrong, let me, uh, let's create an error in the code to show you what it might look like if it was wrong. So if we take that again and click copy and run new test, we pop that in there and let's say we balls up um, we balls up a little bit of the code here and we run the test again. We can see it's going to come up with an error and you see missing, it's going to tell you what the error in the code is. So it's missing this colon after object member name. And I just deleted that, but you could take that error, take it back to chat GPT. Let's just do a quick copy of that and say we deleted a colon here. And I'm just going to put the code in again and say, like, this is the code we have. It has come back with this validator error. Oh, my spelling's awful. This validator error. And then what I do is I'd literally go and take this uncategorized error and pop it into there and hit enter. And ChatGPT is going to go and find the error in there basically and you can see it's pulled out the error the deleted colon that i had um so it can go and refix that code for you basically but we do have correct code above so once you've written this and you're happy and it's validated with all the correct information make sure to double check the information you need to add it to your website and it needs to go in the head section of the specific page it applies to this isn't going to go across your whole website it's going to go on the the page that this applies to on your website. So for most websites, this is going to be the home page because they're one location with one main service. If you had multiple locations, then this would go on, you'd do a separate schema for each different location page on your website and put it in the head code of that specific page. Obviously different locations have different addresses, phone numbers, all that sort of thing. But for an example, on this website, we only have one location, one part of the business. So we want to actually put it on the homepage. Now, there's a tool you can use on WordPress, which is called header and footer scripts. If you download and install that, when you then go to the pages and you go to the page you want to add it onto like this and scroll all the way down, it's going to give you insert script to head, which is great. And you can see I've already actually done one for this, but we're going to refresh it and basically put the code that we've just written in there. and hit save and that should add the code to your website now in wix you can add local business schema automatically it sometimes generates it but if you want more in-depth one then you can go into the advanced seo settings and put it in there and most of these content management systems on and these page builders on the actual page of that you're editing on your website there should be an advanced seo setting and there should be ability to put head code into each page now once we've saved that we want to i I always want to validate it a second time once the code's actually on the website. So we can take the URL of that page, go back to our schema validator and go fetch URL. If we pop the code in there now, ba -ba 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 -ba. there we go. We've got the local business schema come up again and it's exactly the same as the code we just generated with all the information that we wanted in there. Really is as easy as that. And now you're essentially being able to hand your business card to Google um, and to other search engines and now AI models that are looking at websites and looking at the code of websites, trying to ascertain information about them.